If you're looking to add animations to your designs, then look no further. I'm going to show you exactly how to add animations like this and this and this in Canva and customize them to match your brand or color preferences. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Sarah Nguyen, and on this channel, I help businesses grow using video and social media design with ease. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more of these tutorials. Adding animations to your designs is a great way to grab attention and make your content stand out. Canva makes it incredibly easy to add beautiful animations thanks to their recent integration with Lottie Files, a popular animation library. You will need a Canva account to get started. If you don't have one yet, click on the link in the description to get Canva Pro free for 45 days, loaded with all of the premium features for you to try. All right, let's dive in and see how you can create eye-catching animations in Canva. Now let's get started with adding some Lottie Files animations to an existing design. So I've got a design here that I would like to add a little more oomph and animation to. So I'm going to go into the left-hand side here into the app section, and then I'm going to search in Canva apps for Lottie Files. So go ahead and search for that. Then you'll see this logo here, Go ahead and click on that. Lottie Files will then prompt you to create an account. So enter your name and email, follow the prompts, and then it will take you back here once you've created an account with them. So now in the Lottie Files bar here, I'm going to search for the animations that I want to add. They have over 100,000 animations. So there is definitely something for everyone. So I would like to add some hearts. So I would like to add some heart animation to the design. So I've searched for it here and I'm waiting for the options to come up. So look at these options. If I don't like this, I can select that little next button and look at the other options that they have available for me. And there are just so many different designs here. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to choose one of the first ones that I saw and that I liked. So this one, I quite like the design of, and now I can see what it looks like. Now, the other thing I can do is if I click on this little drop down here, I can change the colors of it. So it's quite a bright red, which is fine. But if I select another palette here, it can change it just like that. So that's how easy it is to change. So another red, a blue green treatment. And if none of these tickle your fancy or you want a very specific color to match your brand or to match whatever style you're going for, you simply select this new palette button here and then you can click on the plus button. You've got the option to add the specific hex color to match whatever you want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and select this option here and then I'm going to add it to my design and let Lottie Files and Canva do their thing. And here they've added it to the design just like that. You can also see that the animation is transparent. So it has no background, which is great because I don't have to go and I don't have to edit anything. So now I can just drag it to wherever I want it to be on the page and I can resize it as well to fit what I want it to be. In addition to that, the thing that I really like about Lottie Files and the ability to customize it and make it your own is that say that I want to add this particular design to the page, I can further customize it by adding Canva motion or Canva animations on top of this animation. So it's like an animation inception. So now that I have this Lottie Files animation here, you can see once again, it's on the transparent background. If I select it, I can go to animate and now I can scroll and I can further add more motion effects. So I can make it spin around. In addition to that, I can speed up the speed of the spinning or I can change it to be a different motion effect, but that's pretty cool. So it allows us to add animations, customize the design, add even more motion effects on top of that. So it's so easy and you don't need to code anything. You simply click on a couple of buttons and it is right there animated for you, ready and easy to go. The other thing that you can add kind of outside of Lottie files is you can then add audio. Now let's add some audio to the file. So if I click on the audio tab in the left-hand side here, this brings up 
all of the music in the Canberra Library, which is actually the Epidemic Sound Library. It has a lot of the tracks from their library. And I can go ahead and I can add some really cool music to the animated file, right? So you've got so many options to make this animated, moving, vibrant with music, all within Canva. And I love it. I really can't wait to see what you create with it. It's so easy to use and I'm excited to see what you do. I hope this video on adding and customizing animations in Canva with Lottie files was helpful for you. And if it was, please hit the like button for me. And let me know in the comments section below, what other Canva training would you like to learn about? I love making these videos for you. In the meantime, why don't you check out my Canva playlist for more tutorials? Or if you're struggling to come up with what to say in your YouTube videos, you'll definitely want my five swipeable YouTube scripts. They'll help you come up with content for your videos that grabs your viewers' attention and increases your YouTube watch time. You can check them out by clicking on the screen and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.